If you're looking for an open source alternative to Webflow, take a look at Web Studio Beta. Just came out not too long ago, and we're gonna be reviewing the site, taking a look at how easy it is to build your very first site with it, along with key features and pricing. So let's get right into it. Number one, what is Web Studio? Well, it allows you to visually develop for the open web. Bottom line, if you're trying to create a web experience, if you're trying to create websites similar to Webflow, that's what Web Studio aims to do. In fact, the founder <laughs> used to work at Webflow, but there's a lot of things that uh, the team at Web Studio looks to improve versus Webflow, and it's interesting what they're trying to accomplish. Number one, it's going to be open source, so it's really going to be focused on the community and making sure this comes to life and being a better or different, but also too, they're going to be looking at having a lot of new things that they're going to be adding on the roadmap that are pretty standard on sites like Webflow or Framer that they're going to be adding later on uh, to Web Studio. Remember, this is still in beta, so they're looking to be adding CMSs, databases, UI kits, uh, Figma tokens, um, versioning, real-time collaboration, interactions, and animation. That's what's on the roadmap. That's what they're planning to do for the rest of 2023. So how are you going to get started? Well, you can actually start with Web Studio for free and then be able to scale. We'll get into pricing in a little bit, but let's just jump right into the platform itself. Once you create an account, you're going to be able to jump into Web Studio right here. If I click the button where it says new project, I can just clearly just say beta two project. Once I do that, I can create a new project. It's going to be thinking about its life for a moment. It's going to spin it up. And then we have this right here for the builder. Now, if we approach this from left to right, it's going to allow us to be able to build out the site and be able to navigate what we're building. At the very top where the plus sign is on the left-hand side, if we click on it, it says add. We can be now adding to this uh, canvas or this website and be able to build out what we're going to have on the screen. Depending on how you're planning to build the website, it's important to know how you're going to be structuring it, what's going to be happening. And we have a whole other video like the structure of how you build out different sites and have trees and everything. But let's let's just go with the basic. For example, I'm going to start with a box. So once I have this box, what am I going to put in this box? I might put a header. Once I have a header, I'm also going to have a paragraph underneath the header. Now, if we look at this, um, we have a tree right here. Uh, the, the tree allows us to understand what's going to be flowing in this whole section, right? So we have the body um, where it would be the main navigation, the body of the page. And then inside the page, we have a box. And then inside the box, we have a header. Uh, and then we have text. And then we have a paragraph. Very basic, right? So as we're adding things, we can just have uh, the heading. And where I see the heading and I click on it, now in the middle, I can see also I have uh, the text. That's the heading. Now, I might change out this text that says, I like pie. But once I have that, I can see that I have this. It says, I like pie. That's the header of my, um, of my page. Now, right here, I can decide to look at the middle, what it looks like. And then off to the next section, I'm going to be able to see what I'm going to do with this I, right? So let's see, we've got this heading section right here. This is a heading section. If I want to be able to change this heading section or change something about it, perhaps I wanna center everything right here. So now in my heading section, I can now change everything right here, right? So on the right side of the page, now I can change what it's going to be looking like, where it is, everything like that. I can change the, the font size. I can change this to 20, right? And I can decide on the size, everything like that. Or I can also change it out like this, right? Extra large, XX, uh, you know, 3X large, um, you know, and go to and from from this section, right? So I'm starting from left to right. Like most builders, if we're creating something in Flutterflow, 
for creating something in uh, most platforms, you're going to start from left to right. The most basic on the left all the way to the right. Now, when I have this other things, I can also, um, the section, I can look at the layout. I can do the spacing, the sizing, the typography. I can change the font, the weight, the positioning, all of those things, the borders, outlines, effects. And this allows me to see what's going on. And then I can see also the tags as well. Each tag all the way through H6, right? And I can go from there. And then I can also have settings, instance name for the heading right there, and then go from there. So when I'm building this out, I'm going to go over to the left. I can add all those things. The plus sign allows me to add the different elements here. I have different general sections here, uh, box, link, list list item, separator, all those things, different things I can do with the text, media, forms. That's what I have. The next part is from the plus sign down, I have the assets, and then also I can have pages. So remember, I'm going to be building from the left side all the way to the right and go from there. At this point, it's going to be very easy for you to build from a blank canvas. We're going to be seeing in the future because it shows that they're planning to do UI kits later. There'll be different, definitely, almost positively, you're going to be able to have different templates or things that people have built or basic elements that you're going to be able to have and be able to use for your site. Now, once I look at the main things that I can be adding, I also can look at the navigator section, so how the page is put together. And then also, too, I can see the CSS preview. So here I can see what's going on with the CSS. I can see um, a different selectors, right? So I can see the color, the font family, the font size, line height, uh, text align. Uh, and then from there, I can start looking at um, what it's going to look like, like on different devices. When I'm ready, I can also preview it right here and change with to see how it looks on different devices, all those things. Uh, and then I can also share in public, uh, share and publish. So that's just the beginning of using Web Studio. I think this is a really good first case for when ones are looking to create something, they're going to be thinking about how they're going to be going through and building out the different pages. Um, this allows them to, to go about doing that just so. And if we look at this page for Web Studio, we see that it's built with Web Studio. Um, so we can see just an example what the power is, how they can have the format, all of those different things. In the comment section down below, let me know if you're planning to use Web Studio. Have you just discovered it? Did you hear about it from one of our different videos? Did you find it on Project Hunt? Let us know in the comment section down below. And let us know what you're trying to create. Are you creating a website? Are you creating a web experience? Are you planning to build your own agency and you want to use Web Studio to get started and being able to scale? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're just getting started and you want help with different things, either creating a, a website or an app, make sure you take a look at Docs Connections because we help you for your tech problems and no code problems. Um, you can request for an expert and we connect you with someone in our network. If you like videos like this and you wanna see more videos about Web Studio, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have more questions, let me know because I answer every single one of them. I'll see you in the next video.